on in here. Yeah, it's Thursday. And that means it's your favorite day of the week. Yep, it's question and answer day. And I've got six, six pages of questions. Six pages of questions. I have three brats on my desk for where I take my hair down to let my hair down. So, <laughs> so y'all get on in here. Let's get the chat open for all my, my friends and family. So get on in here. Get on in here. Life is good. Life is really good. Justin gave me the ideal for an essay this morning. And I don't know that I've ever written about this, but I've done a video on it. And I think I will play that later on today, this afternoon for tea time. Those of you who, who go to our marathons have heard it many times, but hey, it's it's still it's still fun to think about. It's still fun to think about. And I'll probably send it out tomorrow as amusing. So y'all, we got lots of things to do. Things are happening around the world. And you know what we got to do? We got to be bobbled up, prayed up. I mean, we got to get into the word. We've got to sit down and get quiet with the Lord and pray and listen and pray and listen and pray, get praised up to get fired up. Bible up, pray up, praise up to get fired up. One, two, three, four. Bible up, pray up, praise up to get fired up. And we got to get fired up in the spirit. We got to get fired up in the spirit. No more sitting on a fence post, not knowing which way, sitting on the fence. No fence. We're either for God or we're against him. So y'all do it. Get bobbled up. Stay in the word. Get prayed up. Yeah. Put your prayers out there. Do your decrees. Do everything you need to do. Praise the Lord. Let your prayers and your praises be equal. Praise up to get fired up. And you know what you're getting fired up? You're getting fired up for helping people. To helping people find, find Jesus. So I've been seeing some fine looking pictures of my fly babies. And I want to thank you all for sending those. They make my day, y'all. They make my day. I get to put a picture with a comment. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. So. So y'all get in here. How many people we got? We got 62 so far. So what are we going to do? We're going to stay in the word. We're going to get bobbled up. What are we going to do? We're going to get prayed up. What are we going to do? We're going to get praised up. Send those praises up. And, and what's that going to do for us? It's going to get us fired up. I love it. I love it. I just made that up, y'all. Bible up, pray up, praise up, and get fired up. Just send it to flylady at flylady.net. We all get them. My stool is squeaking, y'all. So if you hear my stool squeaking, you know I'm a wiggle butt, wiggle butt. I was running a few minutes late here because I knew... I wouldn't make it through the next hour if I didn't go potty. Ah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. So get in here. We're going to get our questions up. You've sent the questions. Patty has put them in a document. I printed them out, and now we're ready to get after them. Uh, some announcements first. Get your multi-one. That's the tool of the day. I may do something about that. 
this afternoon. I may send something out about that. But, you know, pollen is out there. People complain about pollen everywhere. Get your feather dusters. We have less than 100 left. So get your feather dusters. We don't know when we're going to get more because they're made in Lebanon, y'all. And we know what's going on in the Middle East. So we got to get in the word. We got to get bobbled up, prayed up, praise up to get fired up. Whew. So we got lots to do. We've got we've got the big bundle pack, which is ninety nine dollars. It's, it's still a great deal for eleven items. And those of you who don't know how to put the mop handle on the mop, it's quite simple. Where is my mop? Anyway, there's a video about it. Uh, Justin, share the video of you uh, teaching people how to put the mop handle on the mop. It's real easy. I can't reach my mop unless I fall off my stool. Okay, I got it right here. First question. Okay, the mop handle, I'm just going to do it, has this purple thing. It's not for the mop. It's for this, this purple part that you think is going to screw into this mop is not going to work because that this is made to be multi-purposed for the mop and the broom and the multi-one. So it's a mop handle that fits all three things. So this is a compression collar. This goes in. I take. Well, I'm putting this down again. It just goes in. And then you have, it's hard to do it, trying to show it on. And you twist this part down till it's totally down. And guess what? At that point, it doesn't move. And your mop handle is in there. It's not a screw in. You just have to turn this compression fitting down. And to open, to make the mop handle longer or shorter, you just twist this part and it extends. And you can make it lower for your little ones to help him. Not that tramp a child in the way he or she should go and you got it. That's how it fits. We'll get that question out of the way. I saw that on a, on a video from yesterday. <sighs> Questions for April the 18th. Can you believe it's already 18 days into April? Okay, here we go. Justin shared, I think, the, the, the video on how to do that. Yes, we do have the best feather duster, Jenny. We really do. I've shared some amazing videos this morning from Dutch Sheets to Mike Signorelli. He he has he's an amazing pastor. I don't listen to him often, but he had a wonderful message this morning about praying. Praying, getting in your secret place and praying. And I just loved it. I just love it. So I had to share it. Share it with everybody you can find. Now, let's go. This is from Joanne. What do you think of using shaving cream to clean the toilet? I saw a video on YouTube of someone using that. Do you think there's anything spectacular about shaving cream? I don't think there's anything spectacular about shaving cream. I wouldn't buy a can of shaving cream to do it. It's too expensive. But you can take a little bit of water and a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid. See, we tell you to mix up a 50-50 solution of Dawn, well, or shampoo, any soap will work. If you've got shampoo in your pantry, 
that uh, you didn't like the smell of it, use it to clean your toilet. Soap is soap. But I ran out of that a long time ago, and I have Dawn dishwashing liquid, and I put Dawn in my canister. It's just a crock that somebody gave me a long time ago, and it's it's wonderful. But we made a vase that you can put Dawn dishwashing liquid in and fill it up with the same amount of water. So it's a 50-50 solution. 50-50 solution, y'all. And you can clean your toilet with it. You can put that solution in a spray bottle if you want to or in a squirt bottle. You can put it on a purple rag. And you can clean your toilet, especially if you have little boys in the house. So, folks, we got this. We got this. Shaving cream's fun, but I just don't know that it's functional for our pocketbooks. But you can make up some shaving cream using your blender or your mixer. And here's something fun to do. This is something fun to do for kids. If it's a rainy day out and they can't go outside and play, the kids need to be outside in sunbeams, I'm telling you. And it's a rainy day, put the kids in their bathing suits. This way you can check and see if they need new bathing suits because summer's coming. Put your kids in their bathing suits or shorts or whatever and then take some of that foam that you mixed up in a blender or with your mixer and... You, you can put it in a, a, a piping bag or in a Ziploc bag and cut a little hole in the corner. And you can squeeze it on the floor and write stuff with it. Put a little water down and let, let those babies clean that floor. You'll have the cleanest floor ever. On a, it's a rainy day thing to do with shaving cream. Just spray it all out. But if you don't have any, don't go buy any. You can make your own with, with dish soap, just anything. Yeah, I love, Dawn is my friend. I buy it by the gallon, y'all. Buy it by the gallon, which reminds me I need to order a new gallon. Yeah, I, it's just the fun of it, of using shaving cream. It's the fun of it. I keep Dawn in my, in my laundry room downstairs. I keep Dawn down there. I keep it where I take my clothes off because I'm always feeding the girls. And so I keep it right there. So when I take my shirt off, I just do put some Dawn on it. Hello, fly lady. Could you give me some tips on how to make your house smell good for company? Besides keeping it clean, of course, do you have any favorite room fresheners or candles? Well, I can't do candles. I don't like the smell of candles. But, you know, you can put a, a, a pot of simmering cloves or cinnamon or orange peels just anything like that. I bought some orange blossom oil the other day. That I love the smell of it. And my sweet shrub is blooming right now. If somebody would make that smell, I'd buy all they had. That sweet shrub is so beautiful. It smells like a mix of apple pie and, and cantaloupe or something. It's just, I smell it. I've got it on in three places in the yard and the sun hits it and it just releases it. So I would have a, a tea kettle. I have two tea kettles on my stove. One is just plain water that I can uh, turn the eye on if I need moisture in the air. But the other one I can put spices in, whether it's a little bit of cinnamon. You don't want to get it too strong, but I love the essence of orange. It just, that it just feels good. And if you want to make your house smell really good for company, just bake some um, chocolate chip cookies. Get some of that dough from the grocery store and put some chocolate chip cookies 
on some parchment paper in the oven and it'll be good. Or put some bread in your bread machine. Nothing smells or feels homey than bread cooking. But I wouldn't use artificial room fresheners. I don't think, I just don't like the idea of, of smelling that stuff. My dog is having a fit out there. Hi, Fly Lady. Thanks for your wonderful program. Do you recommend we do a load of laundry seven days a week or do you su su suggest taking the weekends off? Well, if you've done a load of laundry every day, you don't have to do any, lo any load on the Sabbath or on Sunday. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You're keeping up with it. Maybe you do two loads on on Friday and get it done so you don't waste your weekend slaving. That's stealing from your family doing laundry. Do a load every day. In fact, this is what is on my little list of eight things. Eight things to do to keep from living in chaos. You're going to love this. But I don't want you doing laundry on the weekends. I want you having family fun and spending time with the Lord. But I want you to spend time with the Lord every single day. I love the way these glasses stay on my head. I got them in every color, y'all. Purple and black and red and tortoise shell and some other color. I don't know. I got five of them. And now I can see out of them. I can see out of them. Okay. Next. Number four. I'm new and I get really distracted. Join all the rest of us. We're just like you. My question is, should I have a list in the bathroom of my morning routine so I don't forget to get dressed to shoes or lay my clothes out the night before. Do you think it would help me if I had a list of the other routines? You can't pile on. Don't, don't do too much. I've heard you guys talk about the Messenger app a couple of days ago. Would that really help me? I really want to change my home into a place of peace that you have. The Messenger app has 24 reminders in it. Even if you don't do anything else. It has 24 reminders in it that come out every hour practically. And when I first started getting organized, I had post-it notes and they were the little three by three post-it notes. But when we remodeled in 2000, I had post-it notes for my morning routine on one side of the mirror and my before bed routine on the other. And Justin said, Mom, what's all this stuff on the mirror? He was doing the remodeling with his boss. He was doing the remodeling. And you know what? Those habits stuck on my mirror kept me going. Now, eventually you'll get, you'll get um, immune to seeing them. And, and so you'll need to change the color of them or something. But guess what? You're, you're, you're getting them in your body. You're getting them in your head when you put them on your bathroom. You see them every time you look in the mirror, every time you brush your teeth, every time you wash your face, every time you wash the mirror, you see them. Somebody got healed. I woke up with back pain like a pinched nerve. I used your advice and rebuked it, and it was gone. Praise the Lord, Kim. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. We praise the Lord. Whoa. You just got to fight it because the, the evil one is going to try to keep us down. Keep us from doing what we're supposed to do. Now, I was a little five minutes late. I knew if I didn't go potty, I couldn't make it. And I thank the Lord that he... He pushed me because I'm not sitting here uneasy.
Praise God. Healing's there. We just have to take it. We have to use the power of Jesus' name and do it. You're going to be amazed. Y'all pray for my sister Susan. She's having um, a colonoscopy and an endoscopy. It's going, they're going up and they're going down. And uh, she has started this morning at 7 o'clock. She's probably already out, but I haven't heard from her yet. So keep praying for her. I know she's going to be healed. Whatever is wrong. She hadn't even told me there was something wrong. Just that she was going to have this procedure. The messenger app is great, but you know, post-it notes work too. Having, having something. And yeah, Patty's posted links to both apps, but you know, just a post-it note will work. Just like she said, we've got to remember to do them though. And sometimes we just need something coming up. If you've got an Apple watch. They come up on your watch, too. Good morning. This week, I would like to begin creating a control journal. Could you share how you have structured and, structured and organized? Even what type of book and anything to keep it organized? And, you know, right now... Control journals are like six bucks. What do you got to lose? Just go ahead and order one. Don't spend a lot of time trying to recreate something I, do, I made for you. And there's a bunch of free ones too. If you look in the control journal section of our website, there is an office control journal. There's a student control journal. There's lots of control journals there. Yep, you get caught in your perfectionism, try to make it perfect when it really just needs to be done. Where's my purple one? I got a purple one. Here it is. Here it is. This is a control journal I used for many years. But since I work from home, I have a morning office routine. I have my morning routine. I have an afternoon routine. I have an evening routine for office and for home. I have a weekly home blessing. I have a testimonial guide. I have a Sunday getting ready for the whole week after I've done church. I, I have this divided into the days of the week. All you need is a four by six photo album and some four by six note cards. Do it. Don't get all hung up in it being perfect. But we have one that goes into a three ring binder that's six bucks, six ninety seven, I think it is. And many of them are downloadable, and we have a downloadable control journal too. My older purple rags are very stiff when dry. They still work when wet, but are not good dry. Is there a way to fix it? Well, I would, what I would do, it's got residue on it. I would just soak them in some Dawn dishwashing liquid with some vinegar. Not, you know, put about a cup of vinegar, a bucket of water, and, and I would soak them in that. And then you can take a rag like this. And if you pull it on the corners like this and you're pulling the bias. So you're breaking things loose that haven't been fully rinsed out. That's all the problem is. This rag, this rag is, is super old. Super old. And, and this is another tip for if you have a lot of laundry that you don't want to dry and you don't want wrinkles in it, it's called blocking. And you can take and pull a shirt, just like one side of a shirt on the bias like this from top to bottom and side to side. And you can stretch the wrinkles out of it and then hang it up on a hanger or hang it up on the hanger and do it while it's on the hanger. And you never have wrinkles in your clothes. 
especially if you wear a lot of cotton during menopause. <laughs> That's when I had to wear a lot of cotton. I couldn't handle any synthetics. In fact, I had a shirt to put on that I had laid out today, and I couldn't put it on this morning because it was too hot. <clears throat> And you might try washing your rags, the older ones, in hot water. Hot water kills everything. I just, I have just shined my sink and I feel so proud of it. I wasn't going to do it and skip to the decluttering phase, but I thought, why not start with what works? I guess that means I better get dressed to shoes. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Uh, I was going to skip that too, but not now. Is it okay to just wear any shoes I have until I can get some that are just for blessing my home? I would look in your closet and get a pair of tennis shoes that you haven't worn in a long time that may need to be washed. And I would wash them in some hot water and leave them sitting outside and get good and dry. Put them on a picnic table and let them dry for two or three days. And then, then you can uh, wear them in the house. You don't have to go buy a new pair of tennis shoes. No, you don't have to do that. Just wash one of your old pairs. And be consistent about putting them on every day. Your life is going to change with those shoes on your feet. But don't... Uh, See, the evil one wants you to skip shining your sink. The evil one wants you to skip decluttering. The evil one wants you to skip uh, not putting on your shoes because the evil one wants you to stump your toe. I saw something last night. If you have a, a platform bed that has metal legs and you stump your toe in the middle of the night on those metal legs, they took a pool noodle, cut it the length of the leg, sliced it down the middle, and wrapped it around the, the platform bed, the legs on the bed. Wow. Something so simple. A pool noodle from the dollar store that you can use to protect your toes in the middle of the night when you don't have your shoes on. I just thought it was brilliant. Wear your shoes. Your feet will be protected. And you can wear sandals too, but your toes aren't protected in sandals. Now, they might be in some merrells or something like that that is kind of like sandals. <clears throat> sandals for walking in water. But it's not hot yet. Not hot yet. So put your shoes on. What is your best-selling tool? I want to order it. Well, right now, our best-selling tool and the longest one we've had, besides our feather duster, our feather dusters have been going fast. We have less than 100 left, and they're made in Lebanon. 200 years they've been made in Lebanon. The feathers come out of South Africa and the family has been making feather dusters for 200 years or more. Longer than we've been a country. They know how to make feather dusters. I've seen them. I haven't been to Lebanon, but I saw one of their little, little, little factories in Vancouver, Washington once upon a time. So purple rags, I would say, are our best-selling tool. Our calendars are another one of our best sellers. We sell a lot of calendars. We sell a lot of purple rags. And right now, purple rags are in <clears throat> on sale at $8.95 for three of them. That's $3 a rag. Get them now because that sale's going away when May gets here. You heard it here first. And, and purple rags, they're amazing. But every tool we have, 
I mean, right now we're selling everything about the same amount. Feather dusters, purple rags, mops. Kitchen towels are going fast too. That new kitchen towel, it is amazing. I don't have one in front of me. Let's see if I can find one. That's this is one, this is half the size, and this is full size. This is a great towel. It's waffle weave. We've had people use them to line their bread pan when they're letting their bread rise, their sourdough bread. You know, we got on that kick during the lockdown. Everybody, my daughter-in-law sending me starter all the time. <laughs> I just like to put some yeast with it and go. But it's, uh, I lost my place. Okay. So it's a, it's a nice towel and it's super absorbent. I'm almost completely finished decluttering every room in the house. It saves me so much time cleaning now that all that, all that stuff is gone. I have so much free time and I'm going to start a new hobby. Do you think I can add 15 minutes of gardening every day in place of decluttering or is that enough time you can't stop decluttering do you hear me even if you only do five minutes you can't stop decluttering because we bring stuff in the house we bring stuff gets delivered to the house if you get a new t-shirt in a new shirt get rid of two shirts So, y'all, we need testimonials. I love your testimonials. How I get paid is to read, read your testimonials. And it helps other ladies. It's like having comments on Amazon, except I'm not going to put comments on. I could turn comments on, but it's it just draws trolls. And I'm just not in, I'm not fishing for trolls, y'all. But gardening is a great hobby, a great hobby. You, you, there's lots of gardening channels. Maybe you spend 15 minutes watching some gardening stuff. I, one of the best gardeners I watch, there's two of them. There's Homestead Heart and Marie and her husband, Mr. H, they garden. And they garden and she teaches you how to put things up. She says, grow your groceries grow your groceries and jason from cog hill he's an amazing gardener he is an amazing gardener i mean he plants a winter garden he plants a summer garden and he plants um cover crops tillage radishes he plants those in the fall that helps break up the soil I tell you, another good, great gardener is Gary from Walker Farms. He had kids helping him out in the garden the other day. And I just cried because I remember Justin helping us out in the garden. And he had his little tractors. And he, he would till around a squash. And we had one squash that was huge. The rest of them were just little. But he had this one squash. And he learned how to irrigate. He would, because we, we, it would be dry some summers. And he learned how to dig little ditches so the water would run down by, beside the plants. He, he just had the best fun playing in that garden with his, his little tractor. Now, you got to teach them where, where things are so they don't cut them down. But here Ransom was out there with his dump truck dumping uh, compost in, and oh, I just cried. Time flies. Time flies. Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. They won't depart from it. 
So yeah, start gardening. Get some plant. I was cleaning around my plants yesterday. And I've got some potatoes. Pateras, she never plants her potatoes. She's a great gardener too. But she was getting her potatoes ready to plant. And I asked Robert yesterday um, if we had an old tire that didn't have a rim on it. And he said, I said, is it a bad tire? He said, yeah. And I said, I'd like to plant some potatoes in it. And he said, okay. So he's going to bring me some of his old, we got with the stimulus money back when COVID hit, we got money and he bought a chipper. He has worn that chipper out. But the first chips he did are at the bottom of the pile and he's going to get some of those out and we're going to plant taters in them. Yep. We're going to plant potatoes. So 15 minutes of gardening would be a great hobby. Even if you don't do anything, but go outside with your clippers and, and clip stuff. Or go outside and walk around with a hoe and cut down weeds. How do you order the feather duster? Go to flylady.net, click on the fly shop, or go to shop.flylady.https. But go to our website. There's a link to the shop. It takes you straight to the fly shop. Everything's there. I have two new puppies. Praise the Lord. And I have left a couple of mishaps on the carpet. Should I spot clean those or clean the whole rug? I got a, when we got a puppy, I got a mini carpet cleaner. And it's made by Black and Decker. And it's just a little spot cleaner. So, yeah, once a year you can do the whole thing. But I would, I would just clean it. With and I would put get some nature's miracle. What's that? Yeah, nature's miracle for pup for for dogs. I we have some for cats and for dogs, and that nature's miracle uh, disguises the smell. It eliminates the smell. It eliminates the smell. So y'all. You got a puppy, put some puppy pads down and teach them to use the puppy pads and you'll be happy for it. Puppy pads are good for, for little people too, because when the stomach bug hits your house, you might need to put a puppy pad on the, on your bed. You can get people pads too, but the puppy pads work just fine. And I got a tray that I put the puppy pad in. And it worked well because I could take the tray outside and wash it. Not that it ran through, but sometimes as she got, as Tulip got bigger, Tulip's six years old now, as she got bigger, her bladder, woo, she had a lot of puppy, puppy pee. But I would just spot clean and use Nature's Miracle on it afterwards. I would not use a purple rag that was brand new on my carpet. I would use an old one, but I would use a different color. And we don't have any different colored ones right now. Did you say Nature's Miracle? Yeah, I think I did. I can't get to it. It comes in a spray bottle. It comes in uh, a quart, a liter. When I began Fly Lady, I didn't write the date down. Do you have any way to find out the date I started? Well, number one, that's your perfectionism. I don't know the date I was baptized, but I know I was baptized. I don't have to know the date. I know I was baptized. God knows the date, but I don't have to know. I don't have to know. So don't allow your perfectionism to get in the way. Now, we can see when you subscribe to Fly Lady, but that's the only way. So if you send your email address to flylady at flylady.net, we can look it up and, and tell you what that date is. But don't get hung up on it. You know, don't get hung up on it. 
Do you remember the first habit you practiced? That'll tell you what month, pretty much. You can look back in your emails and see when you first started getting emails from us. And if you're on Gmail, I just, I just archive everything. Find your welcome letter. If you got an email from us about the welcome letter, that'll tell you the date. There's lots of ways. This is question number 12. Should I dust the living room on weeks that we aren't in that zone? It gets dusty here in Arizona. Twice a week, y'all. Twice a week. On Mondays, we bless our homes. We use a feather duster. On Fridays, we grab a tool and we use a feather duster. If you don't have a feather duster, grab a multi wand. If you don't have a multi wand, grab a purple rag. If you don't have any of those, grab one of your husband's t-shirts. I don't care what you use, but you got, you have got to dust your home. You can spend two minutes every single day feather dusting. That's the beauty of the feather duster. Two minutes to feather dust your house, and you never have to see dust again. But if you wait till once a month to dust your house. It's going to look like you haven't dusted in years, especially with the pollen flying right now. Now's the time to get your feather duster because we don't know when we're going to have any more of them. Oh, we got to pray for this war to stop. In God's timing, that is. Don't want to see people hurt. So folks, pick up your duster and do use it. Don't just look at it. But you need to keep it out in the sunlight. It like dust mites do not like sunlight. Just like evil doesn't like sunlight. Anyway, folks, that's got us right there. That's our last question. Dust. Grab your feather duster. Maybe set a Set an alarm on your phone at 10 o'clock every morning to run around the house for two minutes and dust. Just dust. Y'all pray for my kitty. I heard a noise this morning, just like five minutes before I woke, I woke up. It woke me up. And she had gotten hung up on the back cushion of my chair. Every night I fix her bed in my chair. She loves it. She does her little little making biscuits and she just has the best time getting ready for bed. But she got hung up. Her, she got a fingernail, a, a claw hung up in the pillow. And it's a big pillow and it's not attached to the back of the chair. And she pulled it over to the coffee table. And then she got hung up on the arm of the chair, which I take, I use two rags and I take them off of my chair arm because this is soft on my skin and she had gotten hung up in the little armchair rest and she was stuck. I got up and she was stuck and she had just given up. She just laid my phone and Remote controls were everywhere. The phone didn't fall on the floor, but she was just, ex just pitiful, just pitiful. So I got her uncaught. And then she was fine. We've got, I've got my dogwood tree blooming just before Passover. Passover is Sun Monday, starts Monday for seven days. Anyway, Lord, thank you very much for all that you do. Please be with my sister Susan as she's going through procedures this morning. Please be with my little kitty. She's so old. 
We love her, Lord. I bless her every night. And I know you're blessing her and I pray for Jesus to heal her. She doesn't throw up as much anymore. Thank you, Lord, for that blessing. God, you get all the glory. We just praise you. We praise you for all the all that you do for us. Keep evil from us, Lord. Keep evil from us. Be with all the nations of the world as they come together to praise you. We know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Be, help us to be ready to share our testimony with others. Thank you for Pastor Mike Signorelli and his message he had for us this morning, or it might have been last night, but I saw it this morning. Thank you for him and him being willing to step out. Please open our eyes, Lord, to the evil that's around us. Protect us from this evil. And help us to help others. Because it's, because it's through your word that we can share the love of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all the healing that has happened during this show. What a blessing to others to show that rebuking the evil one. They have to go. They have to go. Thank you for the example of Jesus in the desert and how he used your word to fight the evil one off face to face. It is written. It is written. It is written. Know those verses. Thank you for the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, get bobbled up. Get prayed up. Get praised up to get fired up for Jesus. Anyway, I love you all. Be good, kind, and sweet. Be good to yourself. Be good to yourself by staying in the Word. Be kind to others by sharing the Word. Let those praises ring. And thank you, Lord, for the good for the sweetness that is inside of us that comes from you. This is your temple in all of us. Thank you, Lord, that you are just right here. I'll see you at three o'clock. I might run that video again, but we'll see. We'll see. Talk to y'all later. Grab your duster and go dust. And if you don't have one, you better get one order because we're going to run out in the next few days.